hey guys how are y'all doing out there it's a girl twin d thank you so much for stopping by the channel every one of you guys if you're new here welcome to the camp my longtime subscribers you know the drill big up on yourself enough enough and thank you all for your support and guys let me thank you for supporting me and this channel this camp throughout the whole year and i look forward to seeing you guys in the next year to come all right big up on yourself merry christmas and happy new year when it comes thank you all for your support love you guys let's jump straight into your message and let's see what our guys have to say to us today our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. All right, guys, let's jump in. If you're new here, I do say my prayer at the beginning of every single message to make sure I'm protected and covered, and your messages are coming from the right place. All right, no deception, no interference, nothing negative. Let's see what's going on for you. Us. For us, I'm included too. <laughs> Let's see where our energy is at, guys. And then we'll see why we'll be receiving the messages that we will be receiving. Man, I'm seeing prayer. So some of us, it seems like we need to pray a lot more. You have recovery. Yay. So we're in this energy of recovery, guys. So you know what that means? We're healing, masculine or feminine. We're healing. We are finding the answers that we are seeking, that we need. We are becoming a brand new person. New doors are opening up for us. We are connecting spiritually here. We are finally building that spiritual connection that the twin flame connection requires. Acceptance. So you are, you are accepting yourself for who you are. You are accepting the connection for what it is. You are accepting every single part of you, physical, spiritual, emotional, and that's how you solve your problems. You got to first accept that there is a problem. You got to first accept that there is something wrong before you can fix them. So, good going, Twin Flames. All right, let's see what else we have here. Oh, you have destiny. Yep. So, you see? When you start to accept everything for what it is, when you when you when you start to look at everything as though it's supposed to be, instead of the del the, the, I was say, delusion or the illusion that you're seeing, you fall into your destiny. You fall into your destiny. So right now we are living our destiny. Yin Yang Twin Flame Card Baby three one three. That's how we are recovering. That's how we are becoming a new person. That's how we are changing. Because we are acknowledging this connection for what it is. And you got faith. Yep. I wonder I was seeing that prayer. You got faith. So you are becoming stronger within yourself. You are having that faith. You are having that self-confidence. You are placing your trust in God. And that's what this whole journey is about. The faith that you have. It's about faith. It's about knowing that what God says is going to happen is going to happen. That's what it is. And that's why I always encourage you guys, if you have not done that um, number one test to see if you're a true twin flame or not, please go do it. Go to my playlist. You'll see the two videos in my playlist. Learn about twin flames. You'll see the 15 true signs you are a twin flame. And then after that, the number one test. Those two videos work together. Not one or the other, both. So when you do them, guys, you get all the instructions that you need because once you truly know that you are a twin flame, once you receive the answers you're seeking, and as you hear me say, receive, I never said you go looking for the answer. I never say everywhere you go, you turn your head and you're looking for what you ask for. Then when you see it, you say, oh, there's my answer. No, it will come to you when it is supposed to. And when it comes to you, it's going to shock your pants off. And that's how you know you're receiving your answer. Not just 
Oh, I see it. There it is. When you do that, you'll receive your answer. And guess what? You'll know that every bit of work you put into this connection, everything you're putting into yourself, every hope you're hanging on to, will lead to what God promised you. But I can guarantee you, if you are not a true twin flame, and you're hoping for this one person, you're praying, you're hanging on, nothing's going to change because that person is not meant for you. That's why we got to first know who we are dealing with before we start to say God disappointed us. Do the test, guys. You have impatience. So there's a lot of us who are experiencing impatience here. Not wanting to wait, not wanting to, to allow things to unfold the way that it should. And that's what faith is for. Trust instead of pushing to receive what you want to receive. And it also goes hand in hand with what I'm saying. That even when you, you, you ask for that sign, do not go searching for it. You wait. Let it go and you wait. You wait. Don't go searching for it because you'll be pulling something in towards you that, that is not meant for you. That's going to disturb your life. That's going to mash you up. So you wait until that sign comes and you have perfection and you have rejection. So a lot of us right now, we are rejecting things that do not belong in our lives. We are removing all these negative energies, negative people, negative forces in our lives. We are realizing that we are already perfect, that we are this person that God wants us to be. And that person is a child of God, a servant of God, a twin flame. So we are changing, we are, we are moving from our negative sides, from all the negative energy inside of us, from all the negative emotions we have, from all our dirty ways, everything. That we used to do that was wrong. We are no longer doing it. So we are in this energy. Of moving towards our destiny. Clearing out all the negative and the evil energy from within us. And if we are still in this energy of impatience. That also needs to be worked on. So you have forgiveness. So you see yes I love I love it. I love it. I love it. 747. So a lot of us we are working on forgiving. We're working on forgiving others in our lives, ourselves, for all the negative things we've involved ourselves in. Whatever it is, you know the way you are living your life. If it's negative, we're learning to forgive ourselves because now we are on the right path towards our destiny and miracle. So there's a whole heap of changes happening for us. Or that's going to start to happen because we're finally hanging on. We are finally hanging on to our destiny and faith. Instead of impatience and insecurities. Confusion, see? 838. So a lot of us may be going through this confusing energy. And it may be because of how we see ourselves, how we view ourselves, the things that we are doing. And we may think that it's still accepted. But the reason, number one, why we are on this twin flame journey is to make sure that all the negative energy within us, every negative aspect of us, that we change. We change so we can live our true destiny, the true way that God intended us to be. So we got to first remove all those negative energy, reject them. 919. So let's see what advice we have in regards to what we are experiencing here. What's your advice for us, please, guides? What's your advice for us? What's your advice, please, in regards to what we are experiencing here? Do not drink poison. You see that? Do not do things you know are bad for you. So it's the same thing that I'm just saying in regards to the things that we used to do in our past. 
every every negative way we used to live every negative thought that we used to have these things we need to put them behind us we need to put all these negative feelings these negative energies these negative emotions the negative way we used to live our life if god is not with it it's not good 10 10 1 1 1 and we that's what we are learning to do that's why we are recovering 10 22 do not do things that you know that are bad for you. That's what this Twin Flame journey is about. To heal us. So we don't have to turn to negativity. So we can release the negativity from within us. Huh? And number 22. Set your course. Know where you wish to go. Have a plan. The right direction. There it is. The right direction. Set yourself up. So you're headed in the right direction. Your destiny. Your destiny. Have a plan. Know where you're headed. Know where you want to go. What do you want to achieve on this twin flame journey? Do you want to become a better person? Do you want to stop doing the negative things that you're always doing? All the things you're involved in that's negative. Do you still want to do it? Or do you want to recover? And head towards your destiny. That's what you should be thinking about here. You have fallen. The unknown descent momentum change. We're changing, guys. We're changing. And that's beautiful. We're allowing what we cannot see to take charge in our lives. Having that faith. Having that courage. Having that confidence in God. Things are starting to change for us. And you got to investigate. Look closely. Ask questions. Think before acting. Everything you're experiencing. Think about it. Everything before you take action in doing something. Think about it. Ask God. You see, it's, it's, like, it's like asking. It's the same that I'm telling you. Ask God. Ask for that sign. Before you take action. Because a lot of us. Oh I feel like I want to contact my person. But it's like your mind is telling you that. Because your mind knows once you keep hanging on to your person. There's no way for you to change. But when you have that feeling. And then you go to God and say God is it good. Show me that sign. And if you watch that number one test video. That number one true test that will tell you if you're a true twin flame or not. You will see what I'm talking about. You watch that. The number one signs. When you ask for that sign from God. You ask for a specific sign. Not just say God show me a sign. You ask for that specific sign. And something you don't see every day. And oh please do not ask for any numbers. I beg you. Don't ask for numbers. Even if you're not a twin flame. You will see numbers. There are a lot of spiritually awakened people in the world. But not everybody is a twin flame. When you ask for that sign. And you... You get your answer from God. Then you can move. Then you can take action. But you got to look closely. 1331. Lead the way. Be a leader. Show others how it's done. You can help others. And that's exactly why we are here as Twin Flames. To guide others. To lead others. To teach others. To help others. Back to God. That's our role. That's our mission. We are teachers, we are leaders, we are guides. And if we are going to be teachers, leaders, guides, protectors um, coming from God, we cannot be living in our negative ways. We cannot have negative thoughts. We cannot be, be living in negative emotions. We cannot be doing negative things, which is why we have to change. Let's see what guidance message they have for us. What other message do you have for us here, please? In regards to what we are experiencing and what we should do, please. You have partnership. Teamwork will give you a better result. Find trustworthy people to partner with. Build up a talented support team. Again, investigate. Investigate. Sometimes we trust others to help us through our situations. But we've got to investigate. 
so we re so we can figure out is this person good for me will this person help me or will they help me down are they here for me or are they here to put to put me down to bring me down you know those ones around you who have secret intentions but yet still they pretend to be the best person to work with do your homework don't just jump because somebody say let me help you do your homework magic make a wish believe in miracles magic surrounds you and we did see that magic that uh, miracle energy you have the power to do what you want and that power is your connection between yourself and god and once you ask god once you pray to god once you have that faith everything will work out the way it should and receive be open to receiving goodness believe you are worthy of abundance a gift is coming to you so like i said to you guys hope you see that have have that hope stay positive the worst is behind you. Look up to the light. Put your trust in God. Look up to God for everything that you... Look in the middle. Trust. <laughs> Faith, hope, and trust. Trust. Leap into the unknown. Have faith and move forward. Believe you will fly. Trust in God. Trust that everything will work out. But we got to first change what needs to change. Work on our insecurities. There's a miracle coming in for someone. You will be receiving that blessing. That promise that God made you. But anyways guys. This has been your message. Don't forget to join me tonight at 8.30pm Eastern Standard Time. Where we will be discussing our, on our Twin Flame podcast. We'll be discussing wounds. And we'll be discussing, it's like I mentioned here, like, should we, like, join groups or whatever it is to talk about our Twin Flame connection? And that is very important for everyone. You should be there so you can give your thoughts, so you can hear what I have to say about it. And how it will help or not help your Twin Flame connection or journey. So make sure you're there tonight, Thursday night. At 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do that every Thursday. You can change your name. You can change your profile picture. You can. Yeah. Oh, plus your video won't be on. So you can come on. And be who you want to be. And speak your truth. And get the answers you're seeking. 747. Make sure you're there. Support it guys. So you can learn about what this Twin Flame journey has in store for you. Let go and let God. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you at your next message. Make sure you touch the play now button when it shows up so you can go to your next message, set your reminder so when it starts, you get the notification and you don't miss it. All right, lick one, lick God. Later, love you all.